Hi, I'm going to answer another Reddit question. And this is from Legal Bath 8727. And the title is Worried That Undergoing Re Regression Will Reveal My Spouse Hurt Me in the Past. Question I'm planning on having a past life regression therapy session soon. But after reading Catherine's experience with Stuart, her boyfriend, in Brian Weiss's Many Lives, Many Masters, it kind of freaked me out. In her past life, Stuart had, Stuart had murdered her. If your regression revealed that your spouse was violent towards you in the past, would that make you see them differently now? Number one, yeah, it would. I mean, how could it not? If you had a past life regression and you were pretty sure that this person in the past life is somebody you know now and they murdered you in the past, I think it would be pretty hard to ignore that. Now, when I say that, I don't mean that you should freak out, that you should get a divorce, that you should reconsider your whole relationship because of that. That's not the point. But my point is, obviously, if you saw something like that in a regression, it's going to have some kind of impact. How could it not? Number two, though, the characters that you were in a past life don't necessarily determine that much about the current life. Now, well, I say don't necessarily. From my experience, there are people who are very, very stuck. Caffeination time. They're very stuck on in loops, in karmic loops, where they keep replaying the same crap over and over uh, throughout mul multiple lifetimes. And somebody like that could have the exact same tendencies in this lifetime that they did in a, in a previous one. And that would be a problem if uh, the tendencies were very negative, like what was referred to in this question. Um, most of the time, that's not going to be the deal. Most of the time, what's going to happen, even, even in this situation of somebody hurt you in the past, the thing is, we tend to reincarnate and uh, meet some of the same people in order to untie some karmic knots. And sometimes that's very evolutionary or primarily an evolutionary thing happening. And sometimes it's just that you're stuck in a whirlpool going round and around and around with the same person. So if this is your concern about your partner, for example, then what you want to do is you want to feel like, okay, in your current relationship now, do things evolve? Do you work things out? Can you discuss things? Can you come to new arrangements? And are you in an evolutionary relationship? Or are you in a whirlpool where a whirlpool relationship where you're circling the drain over and over and over until it's either the relationship's over or somebody departs the planet or whatever? Excuse me, garbage truck outside. Can't prevent that. Doesn't seem like it's staying long. Good. Um, so, yeah, this is um, 
it all comes down to whether you're in a evolutionary relationship and like i say what you want to look for is is there progress are there breakthroughs are there deep conversations are patterns being broken in the relationship and within the individuals in the relationship if the answer to that is yes then i wouldn't worry about it okay as a soul Nobody's a murderer, nobody's any of that bad stuff as a soul, okay? But as a soul, when you incarnate into a body, there might be aspects of the soul that when they come into this lower dimension, they freak out and they have certain go-to negative behaviors. So... I cannot say it's meaningless if you find that out. And I cannot say it's a huge red flag danger signal either. Look for the level of evolutionary movement and personal growth in the relationship and in both people in the relationship. Let's say the relationship itself is not that evolutionary. Let's say your partner is not really evolving that much, but you are. Okay, then finding something like this out, what do you do with it? Well, you have to ask yourself, am I replaying the same thing? And if so, I want to quit replaying it, okay? So when you go to do the hypnosis, you want to talk about it maybe with your hypnotherapist beforehand, express this concern, and depending on the method, now I practice quantum healing, QHHT, Dolores Cannon's method, and in that method, my clients prepare a list of questions. I don't know how they do it for other, but this would be on your list of questions. Um, for example, do we have a past? Do, do we know each other from past lives? Has there any been anything negative like that? Because these questions are going to be asked after the past lives, after you've already seen the past lives. And if this didn't come up in one of the past lives, you might want to ask the question anyway right? Um, and so you have it on your list. Now, if you do another method and they don't have questions in that way, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but so you would want to ask the question, but the main thing that you want to ask is, what should I do? How do I best handle this? That's what you want to know. How do I evolve out of this karmic loop? You don't want to ask the question so much. I mean, feel free to ask, you know, am I in danger or anything like that? And if you think you are, you probably are and run. Um, but if you are just asking because you read something in a book and that made you a little bit paranoid or whatever, then just be clear that that's where you're coming from, okay? And just because this does happen doesn't mean it's going to repeat. I've had many people who have had past life regressions where they were enemies with somebody they love in this life. And there are many people who killed each other in multiple past lives. And they took turns on who was the killer and who wasn't and whatever. You got to remember, from the perspective of the soul, all of our lives are kind of like what dreams are to us. If you say, oh, I had a dream where my mom killed me, that's going to have an impact on you. Just like I said from the beginning about if you found out that kind of information about a past life. If you had a dream where your mom was killing you, and then the next time you see your mom, you know, you might 
like you're gonna have some reaction that dream's gonna have some impact maybe you're just gonna say mom i had a dream you were killing me wasn't that weird and your mom might give you a hug and say i would never do that and then you know whatever or you know other things could happen who knows um but the thing is you would put it in the category of dream it wouldn't be that big of a deal um and, and and so that's kind of the way the soul sees our various incarnations the way we see our dreams except the soul has a better memory of them that's that's a big difference but anyway don't freak out if you get that kind of information it's not that uncommon and it's not a sign that you're in danger but like i said if there's something prompting that question where you feel like you are in danger or something well then that's something you need to take seriously and you need to deal with absolutely so i hope that helped and if it didn't ask me a question um and i will be happy to respond to it and either in writing or i'll make a video if i get inspired enough thanks so much for watching and i'll be back later with another reddit question